is so I'm just going to ask to, to do another kind of overlay of how someone would go about kind of recreating the Resident Evil style you know inventory system as an overlay so I thought you know what I haven't actually done one myself but we'll give it a go Twitch stream is now live so again we'll start out with a new project and we'll make it the size of our screen so say 1280 by 720 and you want it the background color will fill with the background color so we'll make that white in this instance it's not going to stay white so this is only for kind of purpose of the image so i don't know depending what you want i want kind of a, a light blue to dark blue kind of fill in the background so i'll do that and then we want our fill and we will start the kind of outside moving in And as you can see, you can do it in kind of any kind of orientation you want. But we're going to not do that. We're going to do it in a linear fashion. And obviously, the more you drag it down, the higher it gets. So I'll start that way. I think that's a pretty good representation. Press Enter. So if you've ever played Resident Evil, you'll know you have your character in the top in a little box. So in a little grey outline. So we'll do that. So we'll add on a rectangular eclipse. And you can get as fancy with this or unfancy as you want. And we'll have it inside there, we'll have its own transparency. We want this to be more blue, so do it that way. Press enter. Actually, what I didn't do, so I'm going to do this. I'll put it on a new layer, so that's the background. Duplicate layer. So we'll make this one, and we'll fill it with transparency. So this is going to be, we'll do this again. So we want the square box where you've got a picture's going to go. And we'll fill that again. So we'll call that. Cam. So that can be where you put your camera or just a classic image. So then the next thing you'll have is your next thing you'll remember they have the condition. Are you fine? Are you okay? So create a new one of those. New layer again. Transparency. And we're going to do the box for that. And it's normally about the same width as that this one i kind of I remember it used to be green with like the line going boop 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 you know the EK, ekg line so again we'll go with the transparency this time i want to go that direction just to give it a bit of variation
Just for quickness, I'm going to put the little beep line in. Just do it manually. Doesn't have to be perfect. So I. Like... Beep, 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 beep. That line there. But you know what I mean. And you can actually do, you don't have to draw your own assets with this, you could import some assets. So you could actually find an overview of the Resident Evil one you actually like the look of, because it did change throughout. You know, and it says the word condition inside in grey, so we'll write the word condition. It's obviously not that big, so I'm going to shrink it down. Usually you mess with the font and everything you want on yours. Condition. You also forgot in this you have the character name. And this one is Jill Valentine. Why the hell not? We'll call ourselves Jill Valentine. You can also put boxes around these if you so wish. And then the next section was the equipment section. So you'll remember it had like your shotgun ammo and everything in. So you put your picture of that there. We'll go back to blue. And this time we'll fill it. Right. Right. Then next to that you had the big box. <laughs> right, then select on. Right. And then you had the big box that had your equipment in. So this is where you would have your All of your equipment. Again, we'll fill this one in. And now the next, if you say this is your game overlay screen, you have a big box there. This is where you're going to put your image of your game. Do this one on a diagonal. So why the hell not? Just since we're being different. We'll go back to the text. This is the equipment section, so I quit. Again, I'm just rushing through this quickly. You can take much more of your time when you're doing it 
VR stream. So then we want our picture of your character to go in the top section. I will import my soldier. Because why the hell not? And we need to layer and transform it to scale it down. We want it to possibly be 200. Drag you into the picture box. This is where you can kind of make your final tweaks. He doesn't fit. No, one twenty. I'll one try one fifty by one fifty. You can see it's starting to look better already. We'll select this because we obviously don't want to see that. Again, take your time when you're doing this. You're not in a rush. So we've got his condition, we've got the name, we're going to change the name so he's not going to be Jill Valentine. It's going to be Captain Jones. You can put your stream name in there if you want to. Get that. Okay, in the equipment section, we need to give them a to give them a gun. Before I do that, they normally have the symbol of how many bullets they've got. So I'll just do a little sample set to say he's got 10. So 
So he's got 10 bullets. And then we now need a picture of a gun. So we'll look for a picture of Adamov. Smith and West. What type of gun do we want him to have? Make it realistic. And we're going to make this about one two hundred to two hundred. Again, want to get rid of the wide. It's done a bit big. Make it to one fifty by one. Fifty. We'll duplicate that. Duplicate. Because he always has another one, of, you know, he has always another picture of it in the gun section. Ooh. Copy. Edit. Paste as new layer. And we need to get rid of the white on this one. Like none. Again, you can make this as clean or as unclean as you want. Scale that image 150. So it's the same size as the gun. And then he's got a pack of bullets. image paste this new layer scale layer 150 150 by 150 
And then always, they always have the green herb, so we need to put the green herb in there. You can see it's starting to come along, and then you can put other things in there. So that's pretty much how you do it. You make it as complicated or uncomplicated as you want. You know, underneath the picture of that, you've always got the use, combine, check whenever you select something. So you could create another box just there and put use, combine, check, you know. Because they always put your toes, tell you how many bullets you've got in a pack, so he's got ten of those left. Duplicate it again. We would say a 10 in there as well, because that's good. And so on and so on. And then when you've imported that into your scene, you would then just have this as your background image. You would have this as, you know, where your picture goes, you can have your camera up there. Just give it the box on the outline. I don't want that box on the outline. You know, you can take all the edges off the boxes. as well. Go on, so you can see it's kind of started to look actually really good. Of course, if you had more time, you could put borders around all of these. You 
kind of divide this up into sections. Obviously don't use green if you want to do then green screen or chroma key. Is it just because this was the colour I was on at the time? You'd want it probably grey. The boxes in Resident Evil were grey. My hypocrisy now is in my hands. Similar. Look at the Jones up into the box. There, look at that. And that is how you do a Resident Evil screen inventory. And you can actually even have your chat just over, go, go over the top of this. Just have this so it was kind of semi-transparent. So when people are typing, you see it there. And your camera up in there rather than a picture like that, I don't think that would be brilliant. You'll actually probably even get an overlay that would, autom that would automate this, so when people kind of redeemed a reward, they could flatline you or they could add health on, they could change your condition as a re reward. So that is how I would go about creating a Resident Evil style. Um, overlay. There you go. I've changed that from green to the grey. So I didn't like the green, but that's it. If you like that, don't forget to ding like and subscribe. And there were just a few assets you can do your own 
Resident Evil screen. 